What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. I'm Ambassador Izumi with the Xbox Ambassador Program and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new wishlist feature. This feature actually came out in late 2018 and for some reason or another I actually missed it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what this new wishlist feature is on the Xbox Store and how to use it. Now before we jump too far into the video though, I do want to say real quick that if you guys enjoy this video, if it helps you out, if you learn anything new, please make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, if you guys never want to miss out on any of my Xbox tutorials, Let's Plays, or Xbox News videos, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right back into the video. So to check out this new wishlist feature, we're actually going to have to go to the Xbox store. So let me just go ahead and open up my guide menu and come right here and click on store. Then I'm going to go ahead and come down here to the game section and just browse games so once the store loads into the game page, just up here in the top right hand corner, that button with the three dots in it, you're going to actually want to go ahead and click on that. Then come down here and click on wishlist. So when you first come here to your wishlist, you're more than likely going to actually want to come here to settings and make your wish list public. That way you can actually share it with your friends um, and, and, and whatnot. Now, if you don't wanna share it with your friends, if, if there's no reason for you to ever want to do that, then just keep it private. But I like to have mine public so I can then come over here to the share button, click on it and select different friends to send my wish list to. So I can kind of let them know what I'm interested in buying. And then they can also send me theirs to let me know what they're interested in buying. So the way that you actually add games onto the wish list, let me go ahead and back out of here using the B button. And let me just go ahead and select any game, any game at all. So I'm just going to select this. I, I, I don't, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to select it anyway. And I'm going to come over here underneath the buy option and scroll over to this little heart button and click on wish list. And so now, as you can see, this game was added to my wish list. I can continue shopping and add more things to my wish list, or I can just view my wish list. Now, if I ever want to actually remove a game from my wish list, it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is just scroll down here, find the game that you're actually wanting to remove. So let's say I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this game because I, I don't really want it on my wish list. So right over here next to the shop now button, there should be another three dotted button. Go ahead and click on that and then click remove. And then now you can see that that game was removed off of my wish list. So regardless of if you want to share your wish list with other people or if you just want to keep it private, this wish list is a super amazing feature. And the reason why is all throughout the year we all have those games that we just don't want to pay you know sixty dollars for or they might be on sale but we kind of want them to be even cheaper than what they are well you can just add all of these games to your wish list and every week just come to your wish list section scroll up and down and see if any of these games are on sale because if they are it will actually show on your wish list that they're on sale and tell you how much they cost um, and so this is just a fantastic new feature that they added uh, back late in 2018. Now, if you guys do actually want to share your wish list with your friends, it's pretty simple to do. You just click on share, you come down, you select the person that you want to share with, and you just send a list to them. So now let me go ahead and show you guys what it actually looks like whenever you send someone your your wish list. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Xbox button on my controller to open up my guide menu, scroll over here to messages, click on conversations, and right here, Big Daddy Ghost 20 sent me his wish list. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And so we've actually kind of sent our wish list back and forth, but right here is his. I'm going to go ahead and show. And so right here, as you can see, this is his wish list. He kind of wants uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, a Walking Dead game, a Lego game, and Realm Royale. And so I can actually kind of scroll up and down this uh, and see what exactly he wants. And if I wanted to, I could also click shop now and buy uh, one of these games for him as a gift. Uh, and if you guys want to know how to buy games as gifts for friends, then definitely check out the video on my channel that I actually cover how to gift items. Anyway, I think that this is a really, really super cool feature. Uh, it's very useful to me personally. Hopefully you guys will find some use out of it as well. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss out on any of my Xbox tutorials, Let's Plays, or Xbox news, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions about the wishlist feature, how it works, or if this video, if I just didn't explain something very well in this video, please make sure to put all of your questions and comments down in the comment section below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out, guys.